guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today we're going to be talking about the Eclipse ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, some of you guys are familiar with developer Nitroglycerin's work. Uh, he did develop the Eclipse ROM series for the Droid X, uh, Droid Bionic, and other Motorola devices. He is now uh, built this ROM uh, from 4.0.4 source for the Galaxy Nexus. This ROM is very fast. This ROM is good on battery life so far as far as you know my uses over the past couple of days and from what I can tell on this ROM it is a perfect stock experience with some extra customizations. It's not as custom Customization heavy as like an AOKP or a CM9, but it has just enough in there uh, to get some custom mods as well as lots of awesome performance. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this ROM. And you'll see right off the bat some of the customizations here from the lock screen. Uh, I have a custom carrier logo there. You can see the battery. Uh, you can see the custom battery there, the custom lock screen, uh, as well as you know being able to pull down, uh, being able to pull down the screen. Of course, that is just stock with ice cream sandwich. Uh, so anyhow, you have different. You have your quad lock screen here with the dialer, uh, text messaging, unlock, and camera. Uh, for now, that is not customizable. I'm sure that will come in the future. Uh, you will also notice that it does come with the HTC Sense 4, uh, Sense 4.0 clock widget there, which I really like a whole lot. In fact, that's one of my favorite clock widgets uh, that I have tried out thus far. Um, you'll notice that it does have some options here for the navigation bar. And like I said, this is not as heavy on the customization features as say an AOKP, but it has just enough. So it's not totally bloated down with features and extra customization. And you won't find yourself playing with this ROM for hours on end trying to get everything customized and set up exactly how you want it. Uh, this is really for those guys that want a ROM that is just straightforward and pure performance. This is definitely the ROM for you. So we'll go ahead and jump into the settings. There are some settings uh, that come with this Eclipse ROM. And so you'll just come down here to the Eclipse settings and go into Interface. Uh, you have some Power Widget settings. So when you pull this down, these are your Power Widgets here. My favorite is the LTE toggle. And I use the Wi-Fi toggle, of course, and the Sound toggle. But you can change these. Uh, you can choose to show the Power Widget or not. So if I pull that down, it's no longer there. Uh, you can hide those on, uh, hide on change, hide on, hide indicator, hide the scroll bar. Uh, you can... Uh, change the actual widget buttons here. So there's several to choose from. All that you would ever need here. Go to sleep, media, skip to next, skip, skip to previous, toggle, play, or pause. So like if you're playing music or a video, uh, you can have your toggles there at the top. Toggle airplane mode, toggle brightness, toggle lock screen, LTE, mobile data, orientation, uh, screen timeout, sound, sync, Wi-Fi, just pretty much anything that you would ever need. And then you have some brightness button changes that you can make here as well and we'll go back to the settings there are also system UI settings uh, so this is where you can change uh, your custom carrier text and also your navigation bar so it comes uh, like this stock here with just the back uh, home and the recent apps um, you can choose to long press the home button that'll get rid of your recents and give you search and also choose to show the menu and really this is all you need I know that some other uh, some other ROMs include like tons and tons of navigation bar uh, modifications, but really this is all you need as long as I can have my menu bar. And this looks clean and it's not cluttered. And uh, we can also go in here and change our custom carrier. And you also have Apex Launcher settings here. Uh, Apex Launcher is one of my favorite launchers. It comes stock with this ROM. Uh, it's one of the smoothest, one of the fastest, one of the lightest launchers available, and it has tons of customization options. Uh, you see here you can change home screen settings, drawer settings, dock settings, folder settings. There's just so much that you can change here. Uh, if we go to home screen settings, a few of my favorite uh, changes that can be made here is number of screens and of course the transition effect uh, you can change it to tablet mode card stack cube in cube out i like the cube out and many more changes can be made there as well so like I said, guys, there's not just a ton of customizations in this ROM, but it is one of the smoothest ROMs out there, one of the fastest ROMs available. And of course, it's not bloated down with tons and tons of options. You have some developer options here, uh, such as 
Uh, you see here show CPU usage, force GPU rendering, window animation scale, transition animation scale. Uh, so your fly-ins and fly-outs and that kind of thing, you can change that there as well. Uh, so a few little options here, not overboard. I'm sure there are also some more options on the way. Uh, but this is the Eclipse ROM. Let's see, it comes with some other... Uh, comes with the some applications, DSP Manager, the File Manager, and of course a theme version of Play Music. Oh, another cool thing about this ROM that I do like is that the G apps, or most of the G apps, are themed black. So these are uh, inverted applications. If you go to Google Talk, you'll see that it is uh, inverted. Of course, the People application is inverted. That's your contacts. Um, Gmail was not inverted. I'm trying to think. Oh, the, the keyboard. Uh, so if I go to Gmail, just to show you guys. Pull up the keyboard. It comes with swipe, and it is inverted. So it's all blacked out and looks really neat. And, of course, I love swipe because it just makes it so easy to type. So that's something else that's included there. Uh, you do have the Eclipse wallpaper app. So if we go to wallpapers, there's the Eclipse wallpaper app. For now, it just has stock... Uh, ice cream sandwich wallpapers, uh, but that will change uh, as soon as nitroglycerin gets some of his own wallpapers. He will have those in that application as well. Uh, I imagine we can even expect some more uh, inverted apps from nitroglycerin uh, soon to come. So, uh, without further ado, we will jump into the installation guide and that will be followed by the boot animation. Uh, so this does come with its own custom boot animation. I'll show you guys that after we install the ROM. So let's go ahead and bring up our power options, which is another uh, feature here. You have your reboot options, screenshot, and of course your toggles there from the power options. So we'll go into reboot and recovery. Select OK. Now you need to have downloaded the Eclipse. The latest version is 1.2 and also make sure that you uh, download the latest version of the G apps. I believe those are um, April 8th, I think. We'll see here in a second. So nitroglycerin's instructions just call for a data wipe, but I prefer to wipe data, wipe cache, and Dalvik. So we'll go ahead and get started with this. Let's get a little closer so you can see a little better. Okay, so we will go to uh, wipe data, factory reset, select that. We'll go down to yes. Delete all user data. Of course, I'm going to go back because we already have it installed. Then we'll go to wipe cache partition, select yes. Get out to wipe cache. I'm going to go back. Then we'll go down to advanced, select that. Wipe Dalvik cache, select that. And go down to yes, wipe Dalvik. I'm going to go back. Okay, then you're going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Go to your download folder. If you've downloaded these files directly to your phone, that's where they will be. And then we're looking for Eclipse Toro. Uh, if you're on the CDMA version of the Galaxy Nexus or uh, Magoro, if you're on the GSM version. And we will select that. And then install Eclipse. That's going to take a few minutes. And then we'll go back to choose it from SD card download and you're looking for the G apps Eclipse so it's 4-8-2012 uh, we'll select that and install the G apps once that's all finished it's gonna take a few minutes we'll just reboot the system and I'll leave you guys with the Eclipse boot animation it's just a stock ice cream sandwich Galaxy Nexus boot animation uh, with a slight modification. But anyhow, guys, that is the Eclipse ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. It's one of my favorites. You guys can check me out at droidmonorex.com. Be sure to click up on the subscribe button right there. Give this video a big thumbs up or click the like button below. That helps me out a ton, guys. You don't even know how much I appreciate that. Also, be sure to leave your comments below. Have you guys tried out this ROM? What are your thoughts? And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.